Big gill. Oh yeah. It's a decent sized gill. Now is everything left? Call me to regret. Still for doing all over the Midwest that a lot of people overlook. Small bodies of water that could be right in your backyard, right down the road. And if you do a little bit of research, some homework, go online, find fishery surveys, do what you gotta do. But if you do that and uh, you connect the dots, you can go out during the ice season and hammer big fish. I'm the only guy out here today, and uh, this is my third, second trip out here, and I've been the only guy out here before as well. But man, a little bit of homework can go a long ways in finding big bluegills. No big surprise on what I'm using today. A uh, green hexi fly with a glow impulse mayfly northland tackle you guys should know by now that that's one of my favorite baits to run and I usually run them a lot they work You're gonna love bluegills. They fight like crazy. This guy. Oh yeah. What a tank. What a tank, man. Look at that's a 10 inch hole hitching both ends. Big gills. Oh boy. I don't know what we got here. Big crappie. Oh, he ain't that big. I don't know what we got here. Big crappie. Oh, he ain't that big. Good fighter, though. Ten and a half inch crappie. Not super huge, but a decent crappie nonetheless. Look at the pretty colors on him. Greens and blues. See you, buddy. There you go. Oh. <laughs> 
Look at that bluegill. Woo! Get him back. Oh my god, look at that bluegill, unbelievable, <laughs> Ooh, dog it. that is a big bluegill. Oh. Look at this monster, unreal. Is that big or what? That covers my whole hand. There we go. Ooh, this is a big fish. That's a bluegill too. That's a big fish. Oh. Oh my god, look at the size of that bluegill. <laughs> look at that thing. Absolute tanker. <laughs>